Hi, it's Steve Pressfield, and I want to introduce you to somebody today. We're going to try something a little different on the blog. This is Jeff Simon. Jeff, thanks for doing this here today. Of course. And Jeff is our tech and design guy for everything that's on the site, everything uh, with Black Irish Books, everything with stevepressfield.com. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about Jeff's real love, which is a project that he's been working on called Camp Abercorn. One of the reasons that I want to do this and why I think it's going to be interesting is that the stuff that Sean and I write about and Callie writes about on the blog is really sort of from another generation or from two generations in our sense here. And we're talking about books and publishing and that kind of stuff, old school stuff. Whereas Jeff and his generation in the 20-somethings are doing whole new things that I'm completely clueless about, you know? web series and Kickstarter and Indiegogo. When I was starting out in the movie business in like 1985, which was 30 years ago, if anything you wanted to do had to go through the system. You need to have a studio, you need to have mega millions of dollars of financing to do anything because you couldn't do it yourself. There was no way. But your generation, Jeff, can shoot video, shoot film, edit it, edit sound, edit music, light, direct, do all, and between your team, cast, fund, do all this kind of stuff. I'm really interested to ask you these questions today because I don't know about it either, you know. And I think that I think it'll be interesting to our people on the blog what the twenty-something generation is doing. So that's kind of my whole concept for what we're doing this today. So before we get in and start talking to Jeff about his background and stuff like that, I want to show you what Camp Abercorn, what Jeff's web series is about. So Jeff, why don't you introduce it to the folks? What you're about to see is a trailer that we put together of what we hope Camp Abercorn the show will be. Here it is. A couple guys are heading down to the boathouse. You coming? Also the boathouse. Severe alert. First of all, let me ask you, Jeff, how old are you? I'm 28. 28. And you're from Chicago. Yes. And what's your education? I have a degree in production design for film. So I went to art school in Savannah, Georgia. What was the school? Uh, the Savannah College of Art and Design. Uh -huh. And studied behind the scenes stuff, so scenery and costumes, that, that sort of thing. You were an assistant production designer on uh, Tom Cruise movie, Edge of Tomorrow. Right. You, I know you were in London for 18 months doing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's sort of... Uh, uh, a day job for you, in a sense, or is it, or is it, the, or a bit of a career path as well? Well, it, it started out certainly as the career path. You know, as I did it, I, I learned more and more about the filmmaking process, and that um, being just a production uh -huh. designer was sort of only a stepping stone to, uh -huh. to really making and telling stories. And now I'm hoping to branch out into. Uh -huh directing and writing and creating so, my own show. Here we are in LA, we're in Silver Lake, we're in your house. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me, when did you When did you come out to LA? I was 21, 22. 21, 22, and right out of school? Right out of school, right out of school. Yeah. And uh, why did you come here? Did you think about going to New York or did you think about staying in Savannah or what? For me, going to New York would be, would be theater. I, I grew up in musical theater, I've done a lot of that in my life and didn't really see that as a career partly because there's no money in theater like uh -huh. you're, you think struggling as a filmmaker you know you're struggling but you're still uh -huh. getting a day rate I mean and you can be painting things for free in New York doing theater for years before uh -huh. you get anywhere and I had to decide like what do I do and drove west <laughs> didn't know anybody didn't have a place to stay uh, 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 really you didn't know anybody out here at all huh no uh, me too i mean i came out here in 1980 but so you're like a hollywood starlet that kind of arrives you know in town i suppose take me home to camp when you got here to la okay what happened in the first year or so the first eight months of being out here i had no money i think there's a lot of people that struggle with that you know there's no way to not go to LA in my mind 